Tusen takk. Jeg skjønner ikke helt hvorfor jeg er her. Jeg er bare en fattig båtbygger fra Norge. That's Norwegian for I I don't know how I ended up here since I'm not just a boat builder I'm not a designer. <laughs> uh, this is uh, I'm presenting a, a design from a, a, a company that I did a job for, and uh, the designer could not come. So it's uh, it's a new design based on uh, old traditions, actually from the Napoleon War in the 1700s. That's when this shape first started, and Norwegian fishing boats and classy boats from the 20s had the shape. Uh, the boat was uh, sea trialed. It is uh, designed to go for in the water channels in, in Europe. And uh, it has to be kind of ecological, uh, quiet going, clean. And um, the, it's supposed to go about like five to eight, well, five to seven knots is what they say that most people drive at, so they, it's designed for like a, a cruising speed of maximum eight knots. It's uh, designed in a from a <coughs> he's actually a wooden boat builder, and uh, he has turned into a designer. And it has very sleek lines under the under the water to make a little wake. It's a so it's a what do you call it a displacement hull, and um, not to make big wash like a planning hull would do when you go at slow speed. It actually only takes uh, eight kilowatts to to give it a speed of eight knots. It has two two engines or two propellers, uh, 30 inch. Uh, they are ele they're electronically controlled pitch propellers to give efficient uh, drive at all speeds. Um, it's uh, electric propulsion with a diesel generator and two battery packs. Uh, the, the two <coughs> electric uh, engines are like 42 kilowatts and the, the battery packs are, what was it? Uh, I check out that 42 kilovolt amperes battery packs. Uh, that's, um, yeah. And it's, uh, they're about 380 kilo each. Uh, it's also, they're all kind of possibilities that you can put in, I mean, options, because we never, we don't know where this will end. They're also looking into the hybrid or the hydrogen driven propulsion. And, and uh, then uh, you have, it's uh, built with much as, as much as possible of uh, ecological materials. But today we're still working on that, but uh, it's, uh, it's coming that way. The design uh, is all the aspects of the of the <clears throat> um, the process are taken into consideration, and it's uh, supposed to be very like uh, sustainable uh, together with um, all the parts of it. Yeah, um, <clears throat> the sign is uh, very classic, or it's a classic modern combination, and. Uh, it's supposed to, the, the side windows and the roof can be slid open electrically. And uh, it also has an optional uh, rear aft cabin um, that can be yeah, put into the same uh, from the decision of the, the buyers. It also has a Norwegian flag. <laughs> <laughs> The interior is supposed to be quite luxurious or uh, with all the facilities you need, really. It's, um, but also here, it's, uh, they try to make it as light as possible, but also with all the materials, even if they are composites or wood or whatever, that they can be recycled and or are, yeah, used again. <clears throat> That's the, the aim. <clears throat> The mold is uh, the plug was made, built in a traditional way. It's not a it's not a treaty and uh, with the the modern way of making it. And it's also made a little model first to see if the lines would would be nice. And uh, yeah, traditionally on battens and with uh, with plies, <coughs> and then uh, with uh, some chop strand mat on top, and then the fairing, you know, all the old 
the old way of making a plug. And the mold uh, was um, made with, uh, well, here's the first, first um, mold, or well, the mold is taken off the plug. So actually the boat is under, it's being built, but it takes, they're using a long time. This is a traditional boat, build, uh, boat builder in Norway. They have, but they've got some, some funds for, for doing this. And uh, they, uh, it will not be finished before maybe in two years, I think. Uh, it's infused and it's uh, core, core materials. Uh, the first one was built with, uh, with uh, crosslink PVC. Uh, the next one, they might try balsa because of the recycling. It's easier, easier as long as if you don't have the PVC in it. Here we can see the, the first infusion, uh, which is, uh, went okay. And uh, they have, um, <coughs> they've only built one hull and are now developing the interior of it. It's a split mold. Um, yes, and um, this was uh, the first hull is uh, white, but it's going to be painted blue. Um, yeah, and I think um, the finished boat will uh, probably be, hopefully, be in two years, yes. And the Sunvik boats, that's the that's the, the builder, and they are really working hard, struggling hard to, to get a good uh, <laughs> product. Hopefully, it'll be nice. That was lovely. <laughs> So